Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this morning I went and did some cardio and then I ran a couple errands, took Riggs to the park because it's finally a nice day out. It has been raining like crazy the past couple days. I like to get him outside when the weather's nice as much as possible because he's big and has a lot of energy. Um, but I figured I would do a full day of eating, like what I eat in a day, healthy snack ideas. I'm just gonna take you guys through all my meals, pretty basic stuff. But I haven't done one of these in a while so I figured I would give you guys a little updated like full day of eating type of thing so that is the plan for today it is 11 a.m. and I haven't eaten yet I typically do my fasted cardio run some errands and then um, by the time I get around to my first meal it's not usually until at least after 10 a.m. so I kind of do intermittent fasting without really even realizing it it's just what works for me now of course there are days where I wake up ravenous and the first thing I want to do is eat and if that is the case I will but usually I don't even feel super hungry until about this time so it just works for me personally to do it that way but i am starving now so i'm going to take you guys into my first meal into my first meal so if you guys are interested in seeing what i eat today then just come along for the ride and let's get started Okay, so before I eat my first meal, I'm going to juice some celery. I know you guys have probably seen this around a lot. It's a very popular thing right now. But if you do a little bit of research on it, there are so many health benefits to drinking straight celery juice before you put an actual meal in your stomach. So I just want to show you guys. I just got the, I got the organic celery hearts from Trader Joe's. So I have both that were in this package right here. I'm gonna juice that up and drink it down and then I will show you guys my first meal. Okay, so for my actual meal, didn't realize that I needed eggs, so I only had two eggs left. I was gonna make like an egg scramble type of thing, but can't really do that with only two eggs. So I have two full eggs here. Cut up some grape tomatoes on the side just for a little something extra. And then I have some oatmeal here. Also an idiot because <laughs> I realized I only had this much oatmeal left. So I'll probably be eating again soon. But I cooked in some blueberries. Like I just put them in before I microwave them and then I'll mix it all up and it'll get all like blueberry-ish and delicious. And then I added a little bit of ground cinnamon as well. So this will be my first meal. Not as big as I would have liked it because I should have went to the grocery store first, but I will show you guys my next meal in a little bit. All right guys, welcome back. So a couple hours have passed and I'm making my next meal right now. It is something that I actually just recently discovered and it's great for this time of year, but hopefully it's around all year because I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating next and it's ready. <laughs> okay, so this is another smaller meal, but I'm probably gonna have a snack with this as well. So here I have one of these Fiber One 100 calorie English muffins. And then I bought this, whoa, okay. Put the spoon down. I bought this turkey cranberry apple salad from Trader Joe's. If you can't tell, I'm a big Trader Joe's fan. But it's like turkey breast with like sliced apples and cranberries and it is so good. So I just put this, like I loaded up onto the English muffin and I had this yesterday too. It's so good, so satisfying, so yeah, this is delicious. I'm gonna eat this up and then if I have a snack with it, I will show you guys what I have. You got your dad's slipper? Good boy. Also, really quickly want to give these a shout out. Shocker, they're from Trader Joe's. It's the um, chili spiced mango, like dried mango slices. These are so, they're so good. And sorry, it got really dark in here because it got cloudy outside. Um, this billet, this billy. The chili spiced mango is like the perfect little snack if you just need like a quick sweet tooth fixer upper. It's like sweet and savory at the same time. So, so good, but I try to limit myself to just a couple of those, like a couple slices every day because one serving, 33 grams of carbs, obviously because it's fruit. So I just, I do snack on those a little bit throughout the day, but I've had that bag for a couple days now and it's not gone yet. So that's a good sign. I never want to eat one of those bags in one sitting because that's a lot of carbs. And I'd like to get my carbs from actual like rice and 
stuff like that. So yeah, just wanted to shout those out though because they're delicious and I do enjoy them very much and that is a go-to snack of mine. Anybody else ever look in the mirror and just wonder what went wrong up here? Like it just, it just flops. Anyway, while I have you here in the mirror, um, I'm gonna show you guys, whoa. My next meal, um, it's gonna be pretty light because I'm gonna be going to the gym soon. Uh, so I just want a little bit of something to hold me over and give me fuel for my workout. And then I'll show you guys my post-workout meal and all that good stuff afterwards. So next up, I'm just gonna make like a little yogurt bowl type of thing. So I have just like this Yoplait yogurt, it's plain, and the macros are really good. It is four and a half fat, three carb, and 26 protein, which is awesome. So this is a great source of protein for before my workout. I'm gonna add a little bit of this bare naked pecan pie granola, which is incredible. So this is also like a good little like sweet tooth fixer, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. I'm gonna add a small little sprinkle of mini chocolate chips, and then I'm also gonna add the Cured Nutrition cinnamon and honey CBD infused spice, and then I'm just gonna mix that all together. Might add in some blueberries as well, but. And that's all there is to it for that, so I'm gonna go eat that. I'll probably train within the next hour, hour and a half-ish, and then I will probably be hungry enough to consume my post-workout meal, so that'll be next up. I will see you guys soon. <laughs> well, from the gym, so I'm gonna show you guys my post-workout meal right now. I got it cooking over here. We got 96.4 beef versus 80.20 beef. <laughs> can you guys see that difference? Look at how bright the 96.4 is. Hopefully you can tell. So this is my post-workout meal. It's probably a little less than half a pound of ground beef, a mixture of basmati and jasmine rice, just because that's what I had left over. And then on the side is like a cucumber salad, which is basically like pickled cucumbers, onions, carrots, deliciousness. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and then I'll show you. I'll probably eat one more time before I go to bed. So I'll show you that. All right, guys, I'm wrapping the video up here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, I didn't calculate macros and I didn't weigh any of my food, which I didn't do for a couple of reasons. Number one being I just got a new food scale and I haven't had the chance to go get a battery for it. Another reason being I just don't see the need to do that meticulously every single day because I'm not on prep and I kind of know like what my body likes and what it doesn't like. I've talked about this before, but Obviously, I didn't eat perfectly clean all day, and that's okay. I'm not gonna do a full day of eating where I like go specifically buy only clean food to act like I eat like a machine every day because I don't. I train hard, I eat healthy for the most part, and I allow myself little treats here and there, and I think that that's the best way to sustain a healthier lifestyle if you are not on competition prep, obviously. So I had the protein shake, almond milk and protein mixed together in my Trader Joe's like Rice Krispie cereal at the end of the night. And, oh, sorry, my nose is running. I didn't really talk in that clip just because I was tired and I just wanted to show you guys like what I had as my last meal. Um, and like I said, I didn't eat perfectly clean but I didn't wanna just pretend that I was gonna eat perfectly clean just for a full day of eating. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it gave you some ideas of some yummy foods to eat. Uh, other than that, I have a new video coming soon. It will be my top picks for the Gymshark Black Friday sale, which is gonna be huge, so stay tuned for that. It should be up within the next couple of days. The sale starts November 19th, so if you guys are interested, Gymshark is having an enormous sale. You definitely don't want to miss it. So thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!